Hello, and welcome to the Tico Times Weekly News Recap for November 11th, 2023. Travel and Leisure Named Costa Rica. Destination of the Year for 2024. Travel and Leisure magazine has honored Costa Rica with the title of Destination of the Year for 2024, recognizing the country for its exceptional natural beauty, biodiversity, and commitment to sustainability. This prestigious award, previously given to destinations like Italy, Japan, and Australia, highlights Costa Rica's efforts in reversing deforestation and protecting over half its land with lush rainforests. The magazine also emphasizes the allure of Costa Rican beach towns such as Nosara, San Juanillo, and the culturally diverse Santa Teresa, known for its excellent international cuisine. Jackie Gifford, editor in chief of Travel and Leisure, lauds Costa Rica for its sustainable tourism practices and stunning landscapes, making it an ideal choice for eco conscious travelers seeking unique experiences. AI and Ecoacoustics Safeguard Macaws in Costa Rica. A pioneering initiative in Costa Rica is employing artificial intelligence and ecoacoustics to protect and monitor the green macaw population. Utilizing 113 audio moths, sophisticated devices dispersed over a vast 11,000 square kilometer area, the project aims to collect data for comprehensive analysis of breeding patterns and potential threats to these birds. These devices, positioned 20-25 meters high in the mountain almond trees, a vital habitat for green macaws, convert environmental sounds into crucial data. Supported by Sinac Mine and the Macaw Recovery Network, with technological backing from Huawei Technologies Costa Rica, the project stands as a testament to innovative conservation strategies. Mario Cotto from Sinac highlights the project's advanced approach and its promising potential for wider applications in wildlife conservation. Influencers birth tourism, video sparks backlash. Australian influencer Shannon Michaela stirred controversy with her video, Have a Baby and Get an Extra Passport, advocating for birth tourism as a strategy for families to gain additional citizenships and benefits. In her video, Michaela shares her own journey of traveling from Australia to Costa Rica to give birth. Leveraging the Jusoli law observed in 31 countries, this has sparked heated debate. Supporters see it as a way to enhance freedom and flexibility, while critics decry it as a privilege-laden, misleading tactic akin to the anchor baby strategy used for gaining U.S. citizenship. The ensuing debate underscores the need for a deeper conversation about the ethics and fairness of using birth tourism to acquire dual nationality. Thanks for watching. That's it for today's weekly recap. Stay tuned for more and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for weekly Central American news.